Test 1. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Share this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Beat. The word I read was B-E-A-T. Beat. So the correct answer for example 1 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 1. Example 2. Park. The word I read was P-A-R-K. Park. So the correct answer for example 2 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 1 on your answer sheet. Start at number 1. Number 1. Woo. Number 2. Lean. Number three, sly. Number four, term. Number five, bunkers. Number six, worn. Number seven, mere. Number eight, Brawn. Number nine, short. Number ten, bad. Test two. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. Seeds. The word I read was S-E-E-D-S. Seeds. So the correct answer for example 1 is B. This is recorded by shading answer space B against number 1. Example 2. Bent. The word I read was B-E-N-T. Bent. So the correct answer for example 2 is A. This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 2, your answer sheet. Start at number 11. Number 11, teen. Number 12, shaw. Number 13, sank. Number 14, wheeze. Number 15, rain. Number 16, disc. Number 17, yes. Number 18, tattle. Number 19, mayor. Number 20, 2. Test 3. Listen carefully. In this test, there are four words to a line. I'm going to read one word from each line. Beside the word I read, there is a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. Example 1. 
watch. The word I read was W A T C H, watch. So the correct answer for example one is D. This is recorded by shading as a space D against number one. Example two. Slime. The word I read was S L I M E. Slime. So the correct answer for example two is A. This is recorded by shading as a space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test three on your answer sheet. Start at number twenty one. Number 21. Answer. Number 22. Fry. Number 23. Duo. Number 24. Suspect. Number 25, dance. Number 26, march. Number 27, frown. Number 28, frown. Test 4. Listen carefully. In this test, there are three sentences in each group. I'm going to read one sentence from each group. Beside the sentence I read, there's a letter. Shade this letter on your answer sheet. Here are two examples. He just shot a girl. The sentence I read was sentence C. He just shot a girl. So, the correct answer for example 1 is C. This is recorded by shading answer space C against number 1. Example 2. The steam has power. The sentence I read was sentence A. The steam has power. So, the correct answer for example 2 is A. Is recorded by shading answer space A against number two. Now get ready to answer the rest of test four on your answer sheet. Start at number twenty eight. Number twenty eight. They were bald. Number twenty nine. He said, Bowel. Number 30, she had pals. Number 31, the word is teller. Number 32, spell oaf. Number 33, I said railing. Number 34, write the word wobble. Test 5. In this test, the word that you will hear does not appear on your word list. That word only rhymes with one of the words on the list. Example 1. Listen to this word, pet. Which of the four words in example 1 rhymes with pet? The correct word is set. The other words do not rhyme with pet. The letter written against set is C. And this is recorded by shading as a space C against number one. 
Example 2. Listen to this word, sing. Which of the four words in example 2 rhymes with sing? The correct word is wing. The other words do not rhyme with sing. The letter written against wing is D. And this is recorded by shading as a space D against number 2. Now, get ready to answer the rest of test 5 on your answer sheet. Start at number 35. Number 35, bout. Number 36, center. Number 37, floor. Number 38, word. Number 39, talked. Number 40, leak. Number 41, tomb. Number 42, match. Test 6. You're now going to hear some questions and answers. The questions will all be different and the answers always the same. You have to choose the one question which goes with the repeated answer. Here are two examples. Example 1. Who borrowed your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did John borrow your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. Did he steal your newspaper? He borrowed my newspaper. The correct answer is C because... He borrowed my newspaper. Answer is the question. Did he steal your newspaper? This is recorded by shading answer space C against number one. Example two. What is the capital of Britain? London is the capital of Britain. Is London the setting in Britain? London is the capital of Britain. What country is London the capital of? London is the capital of Britain. The correct answer is A because... London is the capital of Britain. Answer the question. What is the capital of Britain? This is recorded by shading answer space A against number 2. In the text which follows, you will hear only the answers. The questions will not be read. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 6 on your answer sheet. Start at number 43. Number 43, Mary Estor. Number 44, we need peace. Number 45, they've detained Alfred. Number 46, those fruits look fresh. Number 47, Tommy's the poet. Number 48, Martha is hard working. Number 49, babies cry often. Number 50, she lied to me. Number 51, Joe is the best student. Number 52, his house was demolished. Test 7. 
You are now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct. Shape the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. He said the exercise was well done. That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is, therefore, statement C. This is recorded by shading answer space C. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. They lost the match. They did. Number 54. Give me that key. Here you are. Number 55. We are tired. We are. Number 56. Pass me the salt, please. Here you are. Test 8. You're now going to hear a short conversation between two speakers, a man and a woman, and a narrative. Both the conversation and the narrative will be played to you twice. Immediately after hearing each of them, you'll be asked two questions. From your question paper, decide the correct answer. On your answer sheet, shape the space for the appropriate letter. There are no examples for this test. Therefore, get ready to start at number 57. Conversation. Why should people insult footballers and threaten them just because they fail to score goals? Football is a passion, so if any footballer doesn't live up to expectation, his fans get upset and insult him. But that's not fair, especially when the critics themselves don't play for the nation. That's the point. They accept the fact that they are not in the national team. But then those who have accepted to represent the nation should not give the people hypertension by not playing well. It is not fair to insult a player and even his relatives, just because he has committed a blunder that leads to the loss of a match. The strange thing is that these same critics and crucifiers who were idolizing the footballer when he was scoring goals and winning matches for them now want him lynched. Exactly. This reminds me of the saying, the same people who shout praise him and hallelujah are the very ones who scream crucify him. Listen to the conversation again. Why should people insult footballers and threaten them just because they fail to score goals? Football is a passion. So if, if any footballer doesn't live up to expectation, his fans get upset and insult him. But that's not fair, especially when the critics themselves don't play for the nation. That's the point. They accept the fact that they are not in the national team. But then those who have accepted to represent the nation should not give the people hypertension by not playing well. It is not fair to insult a player and even his relatives just because he has committed a blunder that leads to the loss of a match. The strange thing is, these same critics and crucifiers who were idolizing the footballer when he was scoring goals and winning matches for them now want him lynched. Exactly. This reminds me of the saying, the same people who shout praise him and hallelujah are the very ones who scream, crucify him. Number 57. According to the conversation, number 58. From the conversation, we learn that narrative. Pretending to be what one is not can put one in a very embarrassing situation. 
My cousin, Kojo, was so frightened of snakes that even the mere mention of them could get him trembling feverishly. But Kojo hid his phobia from his wife. One day, on the way to the farm with his wife and mother-in-law, Kojo came across a snake. Fortunately for him, it was one of those lazy snakes that could sleep for days on end, so Kojo and his family could have left it alone in peace. But Kojo, wanting to impress, would not do that. He took an old rotten piece of stick, jumped onto a log, and tried to prod the snake with a stick. Crack! went the stick, and Kojo felt himself falling. My poor cousin screamed in fright and fainted even before hitting the ground. When he came to, on his bed, several pairs of eyes were anxiously watching him. His wife and mother-in-law had carried him home. He felt so embarrassed, he wished the earth would open and swallow him. Everybody had seen his weakness. Listen to the narrative again. Pretending to be what one is not can put one in very embarrassing situations. My cousin, Kujo, was so frightened of snakes that even the mere mention of them could get him trembling feverishly. But Kujo hid his phobia from his wife. One day, on the way to the farm with his wife and mother-in-law, Kujo came across a snake. Fortunately for him, it was one of those lazy snakes that could sleep for days on end, so Kojo and his family could have left it alone in peace. But Kojo, wanted to impress, would not do that. He took an old rotten piece of stick, jumped onto a log, and tried to prod the snake with a stick. Crack! went the stick, and Kojo felt himself falling. My poor cousin screamed in fright and fainted even before hitting the ground. When he came to, on his bed, several pairs of eyes were anxiously watching him. His wife and mother-in-law had carried him home. He felt so embarrassed, he wished the earth would open and swallow him. Everybody has seen his weakness. Number 59 According to the narrative, number 60, from the narrative we learn, number 60, 